Boeing Starliner spacecraft has successfully landed in the New Mexico desert. The capsule traveled back to Earth from the International Space Station. Boeing's Starliner capsule has successfully returned to the Earth from the International Space Station without its crew on board. In what could be one of the most embarrassing incidents in American space exploration, two NASA astronauts are currently stranded in space. They were part of the first Boeing Starliner human-crewed missions to the International Space Station. Initially planned for an eight-day duration, the mission has turned into an eight-month physical and psychological ordeal for William and Wilmore, who will not return to Earth until February 2025. What went wrong with the Starliner, and how will it affect Boeing's relationship with NASA? Join us as we discuss one of Elon Musk's revelation of hidden Starliner flaws. In early 2024, Elon Musk made a shocking announcement during a press conference. He claimed that SpaceX had found serious hidden flaws in the Starliner's design issues that Boeing hadn't made public. He said these issues will pose a significant risk to any crew on the Starliner. During his speech at the conference, he revealed that while working with NASA on the emergency rescue plan, SpaceX engineers discovered this hidden secret. He said his SpaceX engineering team discovered several issues with how the Starliner's engines and life support systems worked. Musk further pointed out that this technical glitch could lead to severe accidents in certain situations, putting astronauts' lives in danger. However, after revealing these hidden secrets, his speech sparked much debate from social media and fellow space workers. Boeing and NASA quickly responded, defending the Starliner and addressing SpaceX's concerns. The dispute around Musk's statements spread quickly, further creating doubt over the Starliner program, which was already being monitored. The speech led to even louder criticism from the public and officials. Some called for a complete re-evaluation of the program, while others suggested abandoning it altogether and relying on SpaceX's Dragon capsule for crewed missions. This incident also cast doubt on the more extensive commercial crew program, which was supposed to be a great example of public and private sectors working together to boost competition and innovation in space exploration. Now, people were asking tough questions, like, is the program achieving its goals? Were private companies following strict safety standards? This is not all about Musk's revelation. Elon Musk has recently accused Boeing of securing government contracts through political influence rather than technical merit. He argued that the CEO of an aircraft company should possess solid technical expertise and not solely focus on administrative tasks. Musk's criticism was not new. He had previously chided Boeing for employing too many non-technical managers, suggesting that technical expertise is crucial for managing complex engineering projects. Musk's revelation of these secrets has triggered the importance of safety checks and independent reviews, mainly when human lives are at stake. The debates surrounding the role of private companies in space exploration intensified, with critics arguing that NASA should take a more active role to ensure safety and reliability. The Boeing Starliner Boeing's Cruise Space Transportation 100 Starliner spacecraft is a cutting-edge spacecraft developed in collaboration with NASA's commercial crew program. The Starliner is larger than the Apollo Command Module while SpaceX's Crew Dragon is smaller than the Orion capsule. It can accommodate seven crew members. However, NASA intends to fly just four crew members with it for safety purposes. Designed to stay docked at the International Space Station for up to seven months, the spacecraft is launched aboard an Atlas VE N-22 rocket from Cape Canaveral's Space Launch Complex 41 in Florida. This crew capsule was designed under NASA's commercial crew program alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon to provide the United States independent access to explore space without relying solely 
on Russian Soyuz spacecraft. However, while SpaceX's Crew Dragon has completed multiple crewed missions, Boeing's Starliner has faced significant setbacks, leading to delays and public criticisms. Recently, the Starliner was sent on its spacecraft's first crew mission for eight days with two astronauts, which are identified as Butch Wilmore and Suni William. Shortly after the June 5th launch of the CFT, Starliner experienced issues with its reaction control system thrusters, prompting NASA to avoid the risk of putting astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore back on board for the return trip. Despite traveling to space aboard the spacecraft, Wilmore and Williams remained at the International Space Station for safety purposes. This eight-day mission was meant to serve as the final test before NASA would certify Starliner for routine operations. Luckily for Boeing, on September 7, 2024, the spacecraft landed safely eight days after the journey. Its safe landing signifies the crew flight test designed to carry astronauts. However, the Starliner has now generated one of the most serious controversies NASA has faced in recent years. Boeing has now successfully recovered and landed the spacecraft, leaving the crew members behind. This has raised a lot of questions and eyebrows from the public about Boeing's capacity to safely transport astronauts. Initially, the journey was planned to be an eight-day spacecraft mission. But now, Wilmore and Williams are stranded in space and are expected to return to Earth aboard a spaceship from Boeing's competitor, SpaceX Crew Dragon, owned by Elon Musk, in February 2025, making an eight days journey turned into eight months. Boeing's Starliner program continues to face significant issues in the commercial space race, highlighting the company's ongoing struggles. Initially positioned as a strong competitor to SpaceX, Boeing faced persistent delays and technical issues while SpaceX completed several successful crewed missions. Since 2014, NASA has invested $4.2 billion into Boeing's Starliner project, a sum bigger than the $2.6 billion allocated to SpaceX. Ongoing technical issues with Boeing Starliner. Since its inception in December 2019, this spacecraft has encountered several technical issues. It all started during its first unmanned test flight, with challenges persisting into 2023 and beyond. This spacecraft experienced software errors during its first flight. These errors caused the Starliner to miss its intended destination, leading to a premature return to Earth. Although the spacecraft returned safely, the incident of missing its orbit raised severe concerns about the safety and reliability of Boeing's system. Also in 2021, which was its second uncrewed test, the flight was delayed due to issues with the propulsion system. However, during its recent flight, the vehicle encountered two separate issues, one with a set of thrusters and the other involving helium leaks in its propulsion system. Either could have affected the Starliner's ability to carry Wilmore and Williams back to Earth. Thank you for staying with us do you think SpaceX alone can run all crewed space missions? What is happening to Boeing? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching the video, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the following video on your screen and you will enjoy it.